No way, she already has a show. This is my show. Feeling Sisters with Sal, January 26. Make sure you subscribe, turn on that notification bell because it's gonna be amazing. I'll see you there, bye. Hi Cancerians, welcome to my channel, how are you? Few announcements before we start. February 1st is the first webinar for Venus. Uh, so join that, it's live, you will be able to ask me everything, question, all questions about the magical planet. Uh, so we make it that learning is fun, which means I joke a lot <laughs> in the classes and you will absorb more than more than ever. Okay. So, um, 25th, new, uh, new Me, New You, Who You workshop is available uh, available for streaming. It is going to be in the description box if you cannot be there physically. In spirit, you can attend also. Okay. Um, what else? January 26th, there is a big thing that we are launching here. Uh -huh. So check at the end of the video. It's going to be spicy. Alrighty, so here we go. Korean spicy noodles. That's how much spicy. Let's see what's going on. Any Korean watching this channel? Kung hee fat choy. And you say, uh. Here we go. Let's see what's going on. You can see it. I am annoying. I sing a lot. I'm a happy person. If you can deal with that, you can click the F off. You know, that's me. Okay. Other people can take this. Other people cannot handle it. <laughs> here we go. Let's see. Let's see here. Let's see here. What's spicy that we're serving here? Uh huh. I'm hearing the letter S and D. S D. Is that a memory card? <laughs> S D. Okay. S D. What's saying? Ooh, this one's. Page of Wands. Oh, I'm not annoyed in this deck. I only get in the in the in the. Traditional, okay. The traditional, it just it gets to my nerves. <laughs> Zero to one hundred when I see a page. <laughs> um, page of Wands. Um, there's dragons there. Chinese New Year, right? Okay, the twenty fifth is Chinese New Year. Might be doing something auspicious then at uh, that time. Okay. Um, I'm seeing here, and it's also oh, the lunar uh, lunar new moon. Is it? I feel like it's new moon. Okay. Um, page of Wands here shows that. There is something about your desire. I don't know. There's something rainbow-ish with this desire. So you're dreaming of a rainbow or something about a rainbow. Oh, there's a rainbow. Oh, there's a, there's a, they just keep saying a rainbow, rainbow, rainbow. Oh, I don't know what that means. Rainbow bright, but the, the, the page is looking at the rainbow. Crystal. Um, there's also, I know, it's an uh, angelic crystal. It's a rainbow color also. Mm -hmm. So... I feel like it's a creative endeavor that you're going to put in time because the page is about learning, studying. Um, this is where you, uh, again, the, the creativity part of wanting to study and learn something that is about a rainbow. <laughs> Maybe you like to see rainbows or you're a photographer or something like that. Mm -hmm. Let's see, page of points. Just focus on your fifth house if it's a page of ones. You can also find a new lover. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying. Because uh, the pages is looking for love. Ooh! Spicy. I ain't looking for love. I'm looking for a commitment, Sal. You, you're not. You're, you're not slowing down in 2020. <laughs> <laughs> so instead of the crab walking sideways, you know, the crab, I've never seen a crab walk front. That's just creepy. <laughs> so whoever you want, I, I'm going to get this out. I'm going to get this commitment. Also, the faith card is Hierophant contract-wise. Could be dealing with a lot of contract, a lot of government stuff is here. Consultation is going to be the Hierophant also. This is consulting, um, uh, how do you call this, wise people. Wise men say only fools rush in. And you're rushing to this person. And I can't fallen in love with you. 
So you're falling in love with someone fast. Yes. I feel like the advisor is telling you slow down. Slow down, Krabby. Slow down. Mm -hmm. You're gonna be rushing into a contract. Ooh, you're not gonna let this person go. There's gonna be younger, older. You got a Capricorn energy. That's your seventh house. Where does Saturn goes? <laughs> to Capricorn. When? <laughs> On the twenty seventh. <laughs> oh well, there you go. Sign, sealed, delivered. I'm yours. Yeah. It locks down the partnership house for two and a half golden years. Cancerian, this is gonna be a golden era for you. <laughs> That's marriage, partnership in your seventh house. It is a transit. You always have to look at your Mahadasha and your Antardasha. And then you go to your um, transit. And then, of course, you're gonna look at your Ashtak Varga, point system wise. <laughs> and then. <laughs> So basically, you know, you need to consult an astrologer. And here, signs will deliver. This is what I can see here. All right. Like if you want to identify the time, astrology will tell you. Mm -hmm. You know, there's also another astrology, um, Tajik, it's called. It's a Persian, Greek Persian, I feel. It's also part of the uh, sidereal, okay. the Indian astrology. The world card, Saturn. <laughs> so here's how it works. Oh, there's also a workshop for Saturn. You can download it anytime. We've already done two on a one. So it's available. You can just download it. Go to my website. Um, so different planet is there. The world is here. The person that you've been waiting for is here. Foreign person, foreign land. Saturn unlocks the karma where it sits, and it's going to sit in the partnership house, in the marriage house. That's why I said, it's like, you are not about love. You're about long term. And it's, it can be also like you're thinking about this for the longest time. It's happening. The world. Mm -hmm. Now, King of Pentacles with the world card can be someone who is world renowned. Mm -hmm. Someone who knows their placement in the world. A teacher with a fate card, a guru with the King of Pentacles who makes money. <laughs> He's right here. A business person who teaches, teacher, professor. Okay. The world card shows traveler. Okay. Foreign person. You met this person two and a half years ago. I feel. It's only now that's gonna be clearer for me. Don't worry, I'm just doing the whole transit inside my head, reversing it, looking at the aspects. <laughs> so <laughs> Mm -hmm. The time has come. Tentacle! <laughs> I told you, long-term partnership. Page of Wands, business is going to be good. Finance is going to be good. Someone here has a Mercury in Pisces. <laughs> it's funny, I almost misheard them. Mercury in Paris. <laughs> they would have hit me in the head. <laughs> I know, Mercury in Paris. Pisces. No, <laughs> Pisces. <laughs> I don't know what that means. But there's an Akshatra in Pisces that is Mercury ruled. So check that one. And two and a half years. I'm not, I don't want to go there. And there was something between the two of you. It's not bad. It's definitely good. There was a communication. Two and a half years. 19 months to be precise, I feel. Mm -hmm. A lot of gold here. <laughs> Gems, stones, crystals is here. You might be shopping. Please. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> oh, let me see. See, something happened. Three of swords. Um, is this a new person? Is it a past person? I don't know what you're dealing with, but I feel like they're heartbroken. Someone can be heartbroken about their finances. Three of swords with a ten of coins. Heartbroken with their family. Like, their family is not the shizzles. The manizzles. Okay. Three of swords. They probably want to consult with you, ask you for uh, for an advice over here. I feel like someone here's parents is about to get divorced, say, their own family, not the, not you. Mm -hmm. Like someone, someone's in trouble with the parents. Get a knight of coins, get an ace of wands. There it is, Cancerian. Get a new person. That's an ace of wands. Knight of coins, slow and steady. That's what they say with the knight of coins. Um, I feel like there's something between you and this person that's triggering right now. There's a discomfort with regards to communication. I feel like you wanted to move it forward. They didn't see it the way that you wanted. And now it's a chance for the two of you to meet each other halfway. 
Uh, seven of cups. You got a four of cups. You got a ten of swords. You got a nine of swords. Ooh, uh, it's a spin off here. Okay, so someone is so worried that you are dating someone else, or vice versa. They feel betrayed by this. Both of you actually are thinking are they dating someone else? Are they talking to someone else? So both of you just wants to kind of like worry about nothing. Welcome to the Cancerian world. <laughs> Where non-existent worry, we make it into something real. Because okay. <laughs> Nine of Swords and Ten of Swords, you like to think that they betrayed you. You like to think all those worst things. It never happened. <laughs> Nine of Swords with the Ten of Swords. Let me see. Slowly your dreams are coming to, to materialize. Ten of Pentacles with the Seven of Cups. Um, there's a big there's a big purchase that you're about to do. Ten of Pentacles with the Seven of Cups. A big purchase. This is big. And it's a lot. Okay. Um, Four of Cups with the Three of Swords. They're waiting or wanting, if, uh, wanting to know if you have forgiven them. Okay. So it's smelling like it can be a new person who you had crossed path with that it never really kind of worked out, but now it's the time for you guys to sort things out because things were confusing between the two of you. It could have been like they started out fast, Ace of Wands, and they kind of slowed down, um, but I feel like they were going through some health difficulties also. They probably never told you that, but there was something about their back, something about their, their mind. Someone here always has migraine also. Um, they're just having headache, a lot of headache about a certain situation in their life. It can also be their business is not doing well, their career is not doing well. And it, it made them um, kind of pull things back because they were worried about losing their job, about maintaining their their coins, and that caused a, that caused a rift between the two of you. Oh my god, Kansiran. Okay, <laughs> so that's I can only tell you. All right, so I'm going to continue this reading. Link down there, description box for extended. Be my guest. Be my guest. Be my guest to my workshop. Alrighty? So thank you very much, guys, for watching or the webinar. I'll see you guys again, Cancerian. Sending you positive vibes. Always. Bye. Hi, Cancerians. Welcome to my channel. We're doing your monthly. My name today is Jose for you, okay? I keep changing to each of the zodiac. It's the shirt vibes, okay? I just came from Spain, so I brought a lot of Spanish flavor. I'm kidding. <laughs> I brought paella for everybody and saffron <laughs> and a lot of tapas. Kidding. Let's begin. Sal is just kidding every time. Can we get some serious energy with Sal? Uh-uh, not gonna happen. The only time I'm serious is when I talk business. That's my Capricorn side, okay, which is your seventh house. <laughs> so you're probably always with someone who's always too serious and you're like, nah, I just want something, you know, like swimmy, like water, you know, like you probably connect with a Capricorn then, okay? Who's so serious, okay? So let's begin for my concern. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. The sun is in Capricorn right now, which means your partner is going to be exposed regardless what you do or you don't do. There's something that is being spoken out. Um, their soul it can be anything that is hidden in the house of partnership that you have. Vedic idea. Once I start start talking about astrology, okay. So you will discover a lot. Okay, here we go. This is for my Cancerian. <laughs> Queen of Wands. Okay, so let me see here. Recently, what? Getting your nails done, hair did on point, eyebrows on flick. Okay. Hips don't lie. That's that there. You have pets, which is good. I see it here. Um, a lot of people adore you, Cancerian. Girls are jealous of you also. For the guys, not sure if the bros are jealous. Bros never get jealous. They just want to beat you up, you know. <laughs> but here, this energy is like you are so damn good looking with the Queen of Wands. Okay, this can be the other person. Um, Leo energy, very, very much like I own the room when I come in. I am very regal. I know how, I know myself. This, it screams confidence besides aesthetics, okay? So you are very confident right now. Not sure why, but you are. Eight of Pentacles. Let me see how this works. So other person is confident. The other person is working on confidence, okay? Um, with the Eight of Pentacles, there is a difference between the two of you um, maturity-wise. Um, they like to learn from you. I see here. How does this work? 
someone sharing beauty secrets with the person? Are you both girls? Are you both guys? Or are you girl and guy You're giving your advices to the other person? Someone here sounds like, you know, you oh, that kind. You will look good in this color, you know, for the girl to the guy. It's like, you know what? You're going to look good in blue, navy, this, is and that. And then or if it's a vice versa. You're a, fina I guess, a fashion consultant or something. You probably have some fashion design in your background. I see it here. It's a fashion. If you're not, you're in a fashion business. You understand me? Okay. Retail. You're the manufacturer. Someone is someone is doing that, definitely. You're in a lot of Venus energy here. Jewelry making, crafts, you know. And this person, you probably give some craft to this person. The good kind, not the other craft, okay? You can always slow this. We know the monthly is going to be like this, okay? They're a student. You're the teacher. You teach them something, though, okay? Next to the Queen of Wands, you may look good, but you will never feel, feel, feel free. Beauty comes with a price, I see here. Your beauty comes, you know, feeling trapped. You can't trust no one, you know? That's sad. I know. I can relate. Kidding. <laughs> well, that's one thing. The curse of being beauty. You know, I mean, giving, um, given, you know, given the good looks aesthetically. Right? You can't trust no one because what are they after? Are they just after this gorgeousness cell? Trust me, they are. I can relate. I'm kidding. <laughs> so they're just after your good looks. Trust me. You're paranoid though. They're not. <laughs> you, can't, you can't win them all, okay? You will have it, but you have to be discerning. Eight of Swords. You feel trapped by your own self. You can't let go. You can't see a brighter side of yourself. Regardless, like this is the person's. This is you or the other person's energy. I'm, you know, I'm good. I'm good looking. Let's just keep it that way. Aesthetically on point. But why am I single? Ask yourself. This is what you're asking, though. Why am I single? Eight of Swords. We'll see. Next to the Eight of Pentacles. Five of Cups. Ooh. With the Eight of Pentacles with the Five of Cups, I feel that this person had did either did you wrong or someone did something wrong to them that they're always asking and begging for that person's attention. You understand me? The person you're dealing with, Cancer, can be emotionally unstable with regards to... How to say this? They're not emotionally stable at all. When they're needy. They will call you. They will holler at you. When they need support, emotional support, though, okay. I feel this person beyond looking for love. They understand that you love them already, okay. So the person you're dealing with, Cancer, they know you love them, but they want more emotional support. They're not gonna stop with love. I feel like they want commitment. I know, yeah. Five of cups. They want a ten of cups. They will work hard for it, okay. They just don't want you to be telling them, oh, things are gonna be fine. No, no, no. You have to give them emotional security, emotional support. Under the Eight of Swords, the Queen of Wands, Two of Wands. You're looking at them like, a, nah. <laughs> it's like, why would I want to commit, Sal? You know, I mean, I've done my part, Two of Wands. You know, it's like they have to step up. I, I was always there for them. I was giving them time. I was giving them support. But if they want me, they have to man up. This is what you're telling this person, considering. You want someone who's a man, okay? Sorry for the cross watcher if you're a guy. They want you to man up. Let's see if this person will. What I mean, what I mean, what I mean, right? Prince of Wands, no, they don't want to be a man. <laughs> well, maturity-wise with this person, I feel that they still enjoy what they want to do with their life, you know. Not that they're dating other people, okay? They like to be immature. They find it cute, just saying, okay? I think the Gemini got this energy also, okay? So they want to be in that zone where um, it's not about keeping you casual, um, Cancer, and it's about them still like, I like how I am. I'm sorry, you can't change me, you know? Like this is a person a little bit arrogant on the side, but then by the end of the day, they need you, they want you, they want to be with you. And that's why for you, it's just like, eh, you know, 12 ones. It's just like, I've done my part, so. I'm not going to do anything. However, you feel trapped, eight of swords. Because it's like, what, what is this person really just going to talk about um, casual or nothing moving forward? Is this just it? Because eight of swords, is, is this just it? Is there nothing else? This is that kind of energy. Okay? With the prince of wands, though, and eight of pentacles, they're showing consistency. You know where? When they want you. They're there. They text you. They holler at you. Hey, what you're doing? Hey, da da da. Hey, consistent when they need you. But what about when they don't need you anymore? Where are they? 
I don't know. We will see. Okay? Because this is a person who's only there for their convenience. And I always say when someone treats you like a conven uh, for convenience, are you a bodega? Do you look like a bodega? Because if you're not, stop entertaining business like that. Capish? Okay. So, um, considering that's going to be for this month, we'll look how this progress, if there's any hope. Um, you have a Leo energy, a water energy over there. Um, but besides that, um, it's a free-for-all now with uh, yearly prediction. So if you want to subscribe to it, there's 12 months, which I only announce this on the, year, uh, the monthlies. Um, it's 12-month prediction. We do it general love and finances. We don't air that on YouTube. We only get a snippet. So that's that one. And um, you also get six months also linked down there. But besides that, there is someone who's gorgeous next to me. It's called Girl. It's my very first Oracle deck that has been published, which I use for my daily reads. Link down there also. Have a wonderful, wonderful February. Let's see if you're going to continue doing business like a bodega. All right, Cancerians. Bye, guys.